Angela Merkel under pressure to call out Chinese abuses at September summit, human rights are not negotiable. Here's a summary of the article. German opposition lawmakers are pushing Chancellor Angela Merkel to make a stronger defense of human rights when she meets with Chinese President Xi Jinping later this year, at a summit billed by Merkel as the first ever EU-Chinese meeting focused on climate and trade. Even if the meeting can be held safely, the coronavirus issue and existing concerns about Beijing's human rights abuses may yet be obstacles to the climate or trade agreements both sides are keen to reach. According to a report in the German newspaper Suddeutsche Zeitung, the chancellor who has said she will leave her post in 2021 after what will be 21 years in the top job is under pressure from opposition lawmakers to hold Xi to account for his totalitarian regime's abuse of human rights. Green Party lawmaker Marguerite Baus told SZ that Germany should use its weight within the EU and its control of the rotating presidency which will pass to Berlin July to push back against China's systematic human rights abuses, repression, total surveillance and censorship. The government told Baus that the Leipzig meeting would be an event of the EU under the presidency of the European Council of Ministers and that it had observed with concern a weakening of international human rights standards in China. The chairman of the Bundestag's Human Rights Committee, Free Democrat lawmaker Guy Jensen, told SZ that Merkel must tell Xi that human rights are not negotiable for the EU. The bloc has previously condemned repressive Chinese policies towards Muslim minority groups in Xinjiang and pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong, despite protests from Beijing. The Chinese ambassador to the EU urged the bloc to deepen ties with China to better protect against future pandemics and to recover from the economic dislocation of the pandemic. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The bloc has previously condemned repressive Chinese policies towards Muslim minority groups in Xinjiang and pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong, despite protests from Beijing. Unless we actually stop trade with China over these things then human rights are de facto negotiable. Exactly. Supposedly the last bastion of hope for Western democracy is actually doing less than even fucking Trump in the fight against CCP global influence. Well yes, Europe said never again, but they didn't realize that principles mean that you stand for something even if it costs you something. That's why Europe isn't leaders of the free world in the end. Because taking a real stand and doing something more than a strongly worded letter would cost them some euros in car sales. And that's going too far for them. They are participants, not leaders. So they will never again repeat the same mistake, however others will. People want her to say something but she won't, or at best something very noncommittal. It's not how she, or the German government, or many other European ones, operates. Countries like Germany would always raise human rights at a major bilateral summit with China. That's just how diplomacy works. Then China will come up with some fataboutism. For Germany they'd probably raise something to do with the EU's treatment of migrants. And then they move on to the next agenda item. Greater than then China will come up with some whataboutism. For Germany they'd probably raise something to do with the EU's treatment of migrants. Almost as classy as Erdogan's, you have no right to call the Armenian genocide a genocide because people living in the same place as you also did a holocaust. It's time for the globe to smash CCP. Should we smash every political movement that doesn't mind violations of human rights? I mean we've got nothing but free time right now. I'm glad to live in Switzerland, then. There wouldn't be many regimes left then and here there's a moderately high chance that it's one of the last still standing. And when the world falls into chaos, we can at least retreat to the mountains. Greater than I'm glad to live in Switzerland, then. Not if we include countries who bankroll human rights violations abroad. Cough cough. Cough cough can't see the swastika if it's melted. Are people actually gonna start calling China out for its horrible actions and doing something about it, or is this another play and they'll be back to allowing China complete freedom to do whatever in a few months? Unless it is the Mediterranean, then what are human rights? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. 
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.